delighted to be here with you today, delighted to be with Interpol as a partner uh, in what we all do and seek to do, which is to keep our peoples safe. Uh, I'd like to uh, again recognize uh, Sean Bray, who has just uh, taken over uh, as the director of, our Na of the U.S. National Central Bureau uh, this week. Uh, he has been a member of and is a member of Immigration and Customs Enforcement uh, and has seen it all from the southwest border of the United States to complex child exploitation cases. So I will look forward to working with you, Sean, and with others here in this room as we move forward uh, on all of these issues. Uh, now, uh, I think uh, that Ron was very appropriate in complimenting the staff of Interpol, uh, representing uh, roughly 90 of the member countries. Uh, this uh, diversity underscores a central fact, uh, and that is we live in a globalized, networked world in which the movement of peoples and goods and ideas never stops. In fact, it increases each day. And while uh, transport and cyber networks are leading to unprecedented economic prosperity, they are also exploited by terrorists, uh, by criminals, and by those who seek to do us harm. And that means that seeking to stop criminals or dangerous people or cargo uh, once they arrive in a country, can actually be too late. We must have the international networks in place to maximize our ability to protect our countries. We must work together to keep the people of each of our countries safe. Each country around the world must recognize that it plays a critical role in the security of the other countries because the flows of people and goods can begin in, end in, or transit through any of them. It is an interconnected, networked world. Now, as uh, you may know, the department I am privileged to lead is at the forefront of transnational law enforcement cooperation. We were created after the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001, to fight terrorism. And our missions include protecting United States borders, enforcing immigration laws, and safeguarding civilian cyberspace. We are actually the largest law enforcement agency in the United States, employing nearly half of all federal law enforcement officers in our country. DHS and our partners in the U.S. Department of Justice both arrest roughly the same number of people per year, but 80% of those DHS arrests are actually foreign nationals compared with 20% from the Justice Department. That statistic, I think, illustrates the international nature of our work and why Homeland Security is, by its very nature, international security. Every day, we train thousands of federal, state, and local law enforcement officers from nearly 100 agencies around the United States. We seize approximately 12,500 pounds of drugs and $400,000 in smuggled cash each day. And we respond to an average of more than 18 significant cybersecurity uh, attacks per month, arising from almost 15,000 daily alerts. We have learned that integrating border enforcement with traditional policing is a significant force multiplier. Uh, I will give you an example. Faisal Shahzad, uh, the attempted Times Square bomber in 2010. Our airline passenger data was the critical lead that led him, uh, that led us to the bomb, or linked him to the bomb that was set for Times Square. And it was our Customs and Border Protection officers who intercepted him on the airport tarmac after he evaded other surveillance. So we uh, work within ourselves and with other agencies, but the whole idea is to integrate law enforcement, border management together. 
Now, Interpol, I think, understands the importance of bringing the many parts of the global law enforcement community together, uh, which is why I'm here today. Interpol is a vital partner for us, and we enjoy active partnerships with you in so many areas. Your stolen and lost travel documents database is actually critical to our border and homeland security efforts, leading us to intercept criminals and dangerous people attempting to enter the United States using invalid or falsified documents. Your colored notices are critical lookouts that supplement U.S. watch lists. We use the I-24-7 system to share urgent information with other member states every day. Your international child sexual exploitation image database is used by our cyber crimes division to identify abused children and arrest those harming them. And we work through Interpol to respond to requests from other members in support of their criminal investigations and to make requests of our own. Today, Secretary uh, General Noble and I will sign a series of important agreements that expand the partnership we already have with Interpol in new and important ways. We will sign a joint statement regarding border management, establishing an Interpol border management working group to better integrate law enforcement and border management professionals, and to strengthen communication and information sharing among member states around border enforcement issues. This is an incredibly important concept and a real paradigm shift. 20 years ago, when I was working as a United States attorney in Arizona, which shares a 2,000 mile border with Mexico, uh, border enforcement was considered totally separate from and distinguished from law enforcement. What we have learned in the past decade, and it was a painful lesson, uh, was that uh, border management and the collection and integration of data related to international travel is critical to our abilities to uh, our abilities to interrupt terrorists and terrorist plots around the globe. So we look forward to this regional, uh, this uh, border management group, working group, uh, which I think will be a real game changer as we move forward. Our blue campaign co-branding agreement, which we will also <laughs> execute today, and our joint statement on combating trafficking in human beings will lead to more partnerships among member states to share best practices and training programs for fighting traffickers and supporting victims. Interpol's anti-trafficking efforts can leverage the DHS Blue Campaign brand, which we are working to expand worldwide. Just last month, uh, on the sidelines of the United Nations at a related speech, President Obama spoke about human trafficking and the need for all nations to work together to fight this form of modern day slavery. Uh, this has been a priority of mine for years, and I appreciate the expansion and the a partnership with Interpol in this regard. Talk about our efforts having a real effect on the lives of people around the world, intervening, interrupting, and stopping the flow of modern human day slavery is a huge value that we all share. And today we'll also sign a joint statement on the Interpol Global Complex for International, uh, or for Intervention, excuse me. As you know, uh, this will be a cutting edge facility when it opens in Singapore in 2014. Today's joint statement commits DHS to helping you build strong training programs and curricula by sending our personnel to help lead the center. Your mission, to prevent and combat crime and terrorism internationally is our mission as well. And I'm committed to partnering with Interpol to achieve it. And I'm also committed to strengthening DHS's support for Interpol under your leadership, Secretary General. That's why we have nominated a candidate for the position of Vice President uh, for the Americas uh, on the Executive Steering Committee. 
Um, and uh, Alan Burson is here as our nominee. Now, over nearly nine decades, Interpol has grown and matured, and the world is indeed safer because of its efforts. The central lesson is clear. We must work better together. Investments in cooperation, investments in building relationships, investments in supporting each other's investigations are absolutely critical because crime itself and terrorism itself respects no borders. Uh, as a border customs and immigration agency and one of the largest investigative agencies in the world, DHS is, in many respects, the face of American law enforcement around the globe. And Interpol is also the face of law enforcement around the globe. We share so many things. We can leverage so many efforts. We can do so much more already than what we do right now. We've achieved a lot, but we have not achieved enough. Crime and terrorism and the methods used to commit them continue to evolve. We have to continue to evolve. I think the agreements we are signing today indicate that that evolution is happening uh, and that with the skill sets involved that you have, that the DHS personnel have, uh, we can indeed work together to make the world a safer place. And that is our goal. It's a shared goal. And that's why I'm here at Interpol today. Thank you very much.